While Nehru's India has become one where, according to media reports, almost half the MPs in the Lok Sabha have criminal charges pending against them, including charges of rape and murder. A diplomatic face-off erupted between India and Singapore after the latter's Prime Minister raised the issue of Indian parliamentarians facing criminal cases. In a speech in the Singapore Parliament on how democracies should function, PM Lee Sien Loong invoked Ben Gurion's Israel and Jawaharlal Nehru's India. Loong was making the point that many democracies start off with high ideals but gradually decline. He cited corruption cases against top Israel officials and criminal cases against Indian legislators. The Prime Minister warned that nothing was stopping Singapore from going down the same path. Indian officials called the comments uncalled for and the Singapore High Commissioner to India, Simon Wong, was summoned by the Indian government to register its objection, as per an NDTV report. Here is what the Singapore PM had said in his speech. Most countries are founded and start off on the basis of high ideals and noble values. But more often than not, beyond the founding leaders and the pioneer generation, over decades and generations, gradually things change. Things start off with passionate intensity. The leaders who fought for and won independence are often exceptional individuals of great courage, immense culture and outstanding ability. They came through the crucible of fire and emerged as leaders of men and nations. They are the David Ben-Gurions, the Jawaharlal Nehru's, and we have our own too. Beyond that initial fervour, succeeding generations often find it hard to sustain this momentum and drive. India has become one where, according to media reports, almost half the MPs in the Lok Sabha have criminal charges pending against them, including charges of rape and murder. Though it is also said that many of these allegations are politically motivated. 